Hey guys, Johnny Crimson 2000 here, and welcome back to part 13 of Halo Combat Evolve. So, as, uh, yeah, so now we, we're dealing with the flood. Holy crap. So, as you can see there, they, these are the, the combat forms here, and I don't know if, I think you guys saw last part, but they can jump really freaking high. So, even if I'm up here on the second level, see right there, like there's one behind me, I didn't see him. Most likely, he probably jumped up and started wailing on me. So you do have to watch out for that. Just because you're in a high enough area doesn't mean that you're completely free from, you know, these guys. And uh, I, I actually meant to edit this out, but I decided to keep it because, as you guys can see there, mission objective escape. How scary is that? Like, you go into your pause menu and, like, uh... So, like I mentioned before, this is the part where things really change my perception of Halo, of what it was, because at this point, it was no longer just, oh, let's kill some aliens and that'll do, and th that guy kind of just, alright, well, let's just leave. Because at this point, it was just like, it, it turned into sort of like a survival horror kind of thing. And uh, as you guys can see here, I do take things a little easy. Um, I'm a very cautious player, as I mentioned before, I like to strategize. I don't like going gung-ho without a without a plan and with the flood you you really can never plan because they're so sporadic uh this is we've only seen two versions of you know two 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 forms of the of the flood so far there are more that we'll see especially in the next level oh the next level if you've if you've ever played the original halo or this halo rather you know what i'm talking about when i say uh oh, the next level but anyway, yeah, our objective has completely changed from finding Captain Keys to getting the freak out of this entire building. But as you can probably tell, things have become a little bit more complicated because now certain doors won't open. As you guys can see here, I'm going around everywhere and there's really nothing here. The thing with this game, or this level really, is that it can be rather confusing. As you guys can see here, I'm running around and I don't know where the crap I'm going. And uh, as you guys can see here, I, I, I left this purposefully because it, it sort of, it, this level is a little bit confusing at times, um, a lot of times actually, <laughs> because as you guys can see over there, the, the, the door, this door I was able to go in before, but I'm no longer able to go into because it's broken. And that's a re recurring theme in this entire level that where you know we were able to come in through certain doors but now that the flood have escaped or we actually we've encountered the flood for the first time now they can no longer be used so that's something that you have to you know keep in mind um one of the things that I did want to mention and I didn't get a chance to last time was that with that a wall uh marine the the marine that started shooting us now now we know why he kind of went crazy so he went crazy because he started seeing the flood right um and i was mentioning about how a bit of trivia with that guy was that in the halo 3 special edition one of the special edition edition uh special edition editions that doesn't make sense one of the extras of the special edition i, I think it's known as the legendary edition of uh, Halo 3, one of the directors of Halo 3, I can't remember his name, so, you know, I can't give you guys his exact name, What uh, he mentioned that when they were developing this level in particular for this game, one of the plan was to have that, to keep that AWOL Marine, but the plan was going to be that he was originally not going to die at first, like we weren't supposed to shoot him or whatever, but, um, you know, he's clearly, you know, going crazy and the plan was that if you you know the player was supposed to walk away a certain distance and then we were supposed to you know you were supposed to be able to hear like a gunshot sort of you know insinuating that he committed suicide now I personally would have thought that that would have been cool <laughs> it's a little dark but I, I thought that that would have been clever you know clever little way of kind of you know and holy crap shotgun so I'll just shut up about that shotgun time now, as I mentioned before, the best way to eliminate the flood, in my opinion, is to use human weapons. The best human weapon by far to use against the flood is the shotgun. So when you get a shotgun in any level that has the flood in it, or, you know, the flood very prominently in it, I suggest you keep that son of a... 
because you will be using it a whole lot. And in fact, in the next level, oh, the next level, it's almost it's it's almost a necessity to have a shotgun. As you guys can see, uh, as you guys saw there, one single shotgun blast to a combat form of an elite took him out, like completely, like he's not even getting up anymore. So I highly, highly suggest that you you if you find a shotgun, keep that sucker because it will make things so much easier. Booyah! <laughs> Booyah! Suckers are going down. Now I do suggest though, if you if you have room for only two different we uh, weapons, I suggest that you have a shotgun and an assault rifle. Now normally. As I mentioned before, there's a lot, you know, the, the handgun in this game is amazing. However, it's not that good against the Flood. Why? Well, as you guys just saw there, the the uh, the infection forms, which come in swarms, it's a little hard to hit them, you know, with a single bullet with a, with a handgun. So, I suggest keeping an assault rifle on hand so you guys can, so you know to do multiple damage all at once so you can get rid of as many infection forms at one time now here as you guys can see there we are introduced now to combat forms which actually hold weapons holy crap so not only are they like parasitic you know monsters now they they're able to wield weapons so you do have to keep that in mind too so you know floods aren't just you know, up in your face monsters. You do have to contend with them long range as well. Another thing with the with the infection form is that once you hit him, oh look at that poor grunt. Once you hit him, and holy crap, man, you saw that, guys. Like you saw how far that man just jumped. As I said before, you do have to contend with that that ridiculous jump of theirs. Uh, as I mentioned, I was. I was about to say is that with the infection form, which is those little parasitic people, um, the thing with them is that you, when 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 you hit them, whether it's where you know when you kill them, whether it's through a gunshot or whether you use your melee attack, like I'm doing a lot just to conserve on ammo, they actually explode. They don't hit you, you know, they don't harm you, but if there are any other infection forms nearby they will get hit as well and they will explode and it almost cause like a, a chain reaction I mean it doesn't go like from one end of the room to the other that you know it doesn't the reaction doesn't last that long but that's one thing that you can use if you want to conserve energy or weapons uh, ammo ammunition just hit one of them that are in a swarm and most likely the rest of them around around it will also die as well from the little mini explosion that they cause whenever they blow up now one thing I do want to mention here is that with the infection form, not only are we dealing with infect infected elites, we're also dealing with infected humans. The differences between the two really aren't that great. They both pretty much do the exact same thing. The only difference, I believe, is that the elite infected forms jump higher. I want to say that. I think the human infected forms don't jump. I could be wrong. I'm trying to... I'm trying to think off the top of my head here but I, I do believe that's the case I don't think human infected forms jump are able to jump of course as soon as I say that one will probably just ju actually you know what no that's that's wrong they also jump so I, I was just reminded because I was on that um, one of the bridges and I remember that I either in this part or in a part coming up they do jump towards me so yeah I mean th really the only difference is aesthetic really just to kind of show you that the flood infect anything and that's one of the things that's also uh, see right there he jumped that's also one of the things that I wanted to mention before about either it's a glitch or an oversight on the part of Bungie but uh, two of the things as we just saw through the cinematics doesn't really make sense because it's already been established that the flood is a parasitic life form which feeds off of living things right that's how they are able to survive they infect either humans or elites both equally and that's how they live. However, it doesn't make sense because the Marines in the cutscene were able to find a almost fully intact elite. So there's one of that means that's either one of two things might have happened with that elite. One is that 
it was just an oversight on Bungie's, you know, on Bungie's hat, uh, on Bungie's behalf, with, you know, like, holy crap, we just wanted to show that, you know, something killed an elite just to be scary. But if it uh, if it got infected, it should have been, you know, it should have became a, a uh, an infected elite combat form. But it clearly wasn't. The other thing, a little bit of an oversight, is the marine that kind of just sprawled out, like fell onto our 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 arms when we first opened that door. I'm pretty sure he he should have been infected a long time ago. But you know th that's just I don't know. That's just me. That's one of the things that I notice. It's nitpicking, really. As you guys can see, the 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 flood are very fast. They will run towards you a lot of times, and you do have to you ha you do have to remember that if you're running away from flood, from from the combat forms at least, if you're running away from them, you do have to remember that they can outrun you or they can out jump you too, I guess. And if you're running away, it it it's it shouldn't be a surprise when you look behind you and you find a combat form right there and you're getting hit. That will become even more evident in the upcoming level. Oh, the next level. God, these guys just come out of nowhere. And as I said before, the shotgun is a must-have whenever facing the flood because it will make things a lot easier. But as you guys can see here, so all these places that we're going to are just tore up from the flow up. And really at this point, we're just trying to find our way out. So we went from having a level that we could have gone up. You know, we could have... Theoretically speaking, we we could have just taken like five minutes to get back to the surface, but because there was one or two doors that were broken because of the fl be because the flood came out, now we have to go the long way around, and uh, it's taken us almost three times as 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 much time to get back to the surface world. And our poor little covenant friends are, are are now being killed by these by these things, especially the grunts. I always kind of feel bad whenever the whenever um, whenever the the grunts get infected and stuff because because you know the grunts are kind of goofy looking, you know. They're they're I kind of feel bad that they're getting killed by other you know by something other than my gun. But yeah, whenever you face the the flood, you really have to look all around you. And uh, we press this button here, and whenever you get to the elevator where you're going up instead of down, you already know that you're you've already beaten the level. So now we're going up to the surface, and this level is pretty much over, guys. I mean, this like I said before, this level is very very short. It's probably the shortest one. They probably felt bad from from the last level. It was like lasted freaking and almost an hour beating that thing. So I think Bungie was just like, alright, alright, we'll give you a short level, but make it, like, really awesome and intense. I actually really like it. So now the, the last part of this level is that we just have to go find a large structure, this large tower-looking thing. I know I'm talking over them, but um, our pelican pilot lady, or whatever, says that she can't f get to us because of the thick wood or whatever. Um, because of all this swamp stuff. So we have to go to a particular tower where she'll be able to pick uh, pick us up from the pelican. So now all that's left is that we have to go back through this all this swamp and all this forest and contend with the flood who have now been, you know, released. So instead of fighting covenant now we're going to be fighting flood. Oh joy. I always thought that that was kind of neat though because it like I said before, this game does a good job in that it doesn't just throw you know, aliens at you, like the Covenant. Now we are introduced to an entirely different race that we have to contend with. So now, not only are we fighting the Covenant, but we're fighting the Flood, too. And the cool thing is that we're fighting the Flood, but the Covenant are also fighting the Flood. So it's going to be like a huge three-way going on. That didn't sound dirty at all. And as we'll soon see, we'll be adding yet another layer of enemies coming up. So yeah, all you want to do, like, this place is really, you know, I always have a hard time trying to figure out where to go. Really just walk around. Whenever you find enemies, you know you're going in the right direction. Eventually we'll get to this huge tower, and you can't really miss it. I mean, you can sort of miss it because of the, fo because of the fog, but uh, you shouldn't have a big problem.
And yeah, you just want to take out as many of these uh, floods as you as you can. And as I said before, like the best way to do that is if you still have your shotgun. Will make this so much easier. Boosh. So satisfying. Boosh. And I am getting tore up. See, like right here, these guys, the infection forms, they don't do, a, you know, by themselves, they're not that big of a deal. But as you saw there, I got hit by one of the combat forms, took my shield down, got hit by the infection forms, and they ended up taking my, my health away. No bueno, no bueno. And uh, once you get to this part with the shining red lights, you already know that you're, you know, where you need to go. So all you have to do is take care of these uh, flood, try to eliminate all of them. And eventually we'll be meeting our a interesting new friend that uh, will will become a series staple all the way until Halo 3. So we'll be seeing a lot of him, but first we have to we have we have to meet him. But we'll be doing that in this level. In fact, you can maybe make out some of the noises that he's making. As you guys can see there, there he is. That guy is 343 Guilty Spark. And as you saw there, we are introduced to another enemy, or entity rather. These are the Sentinels. The Sentinels are programmed to take out the Flood. So that's why they're helping us out. And they help us out by using this laser beam. So yeah, we're in good shape now. So anyway guys, that's the end of part 13. I'll see you guys in part 14. Greetings. I am the monitor of Installation 04. I am 343 Guilty Spark. Someone has released the flood. My function is to prevent it from leaving this installation. But I require your assistance. Come, this way. As always, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to get more stuff from me. In the meantime, if you like my videos, be sure to find me on Twitter, Tumblr, Raptor, and ScrewTac.com to see the other gaming-related content that I upload. Info is in the description. Who knows? Maybe you'll like my stuff. Maybe? Maybe?